this video, we're putting together a John Frusciante inspired affordable essentials rig. Admittedly, on home rig share, we're partial to posting any rigs, including guitar gear synonymous with Mr. Frusciante himself. But with affordability in mind, what can I fit on this that will give me that Johnny F tone? Let's have a look. Okay, so the board that I've decided to use for this challenge is the Pedal Train Nano Plus. Um, this board that I bought from Andertons uh, really gives you some freedom in your choices for your essentials rig, um, but forces you to drill down and actually question, you know, what is it that I need? What am I going to use? First pedal on the board, there it is. The big Boss DS2. John has used this for decades now. I don't really see that you can have a John Frusciante inspired board without this pedal. I think as soon as you plug it in, you instantly hear that real heavy tone of John's. And for me, you know, hearing that searing, scorching distortion that he's got with this pedal, that really comes out in things like Live at Slane Castle, where, you know, I first watched that in the early 2000s and, and just I couldn't understand why I didn't have that ability to create that tone. This pedal gets you a long way there yeah for, for a relatively affordable pedal this is great especially for anyone who wants to sound like John Frusciante got it first in signal path um, I've tried it elsewhere it doesn't really work for that tone and then right up behind it here it is is the Ibanez Wah WH10 version 3 um, I bought this pedal from Guitar Guitar uh, they were able to sort me out at a time where Literally no one in the UK wanted to sell me this pedal. Obviously, this was during uh, COVID times, so supply chains were pretty tricky. John Fashante was synonymous with the Ibanez Wah first version, mainly, I think, the second version, um, which unless you want to pay extortionate prices online, you're just not going to get hold of anymore. However, it looks like from a very grainy still that I saw of a Chad Smith Instagram post, it looks like Frusciante is using this version of uh, an Ibanez Wah for his kind of next round of chili pepper time. This is, this is a great pedal. You need to kind of understand what you've got at your feet with the DS2 and the Ibanez Wah. So I definitely recommend watching any of Dave Simpson's videos. You've probably already watched some of his videos if you're watching this, but Okay, so the next pedal is my Desert Island pedal. Um, might be a strange choice for some for a Desert Island pedal, but the Marshall Compressor 100% uh, is my clean tone. So any clean tone that I'm going to have, uh, that pedal is on. Uh, sometimes it reacts or causes other pedals to sound slightly different to what I want. So I have to be very careful about when and how I engage that pedal. Um, but that was the very first pedal I ever bought. I bought that from uh, Musicland in Catford, South East London, probably around about 11 years ago now. Uh, I just love that clean tone, the pop that the uh, the bass notes get, the ringing out of the kind of open chords or any sustain I get in my lead playing is definitely from this pedal. I absolutely love this pedal. So sticking with the Marshall theme going on, um, I've got the Marshall Jackhammer. So this is the first of two overdrives I'm going to have on this pedal board. Anyone a fan of Dave Simpson again will recognise this as one of his choices to get the Frusciante-esque dirty clean tone. I mainly use this as a much higher gain. Really consider when you put your pedals down is how they react to any one of the other pedals you've got. But yeah, big fan of... The two Marshall pedals. I want, I want to get some more Marshall pedals, actually. I don't know whether they'd ever fit kind of in this John Fashante-esque rig, um, but we'll see. Okay, so returning to Boss, we have got the Boss BD2, the blues driver. Uh, this pedal is my low gain overdrive. Um, I really debated whether to include a fuzz pedal or a chorus pedal on this with it being a John Fashante inspired rig, but again, this is inspired as opposed to a direct emulation of what John Vachante has or has had in the past. So for me, I like to have overdrive options. This acts as a bit of a clean boost um, after the much higher gain Marshall Jackhammer. But kind of when you stack both of these pedals together, it just gives me such a great kind of rhythmic lead tone, which I quite like that kind of Hendrix Fushante style of playing. Okay, so next up, as I said, I've kind of opted out of getting a, a chorus or a fuzz or something that, you know, Fushante was known for. And I'm going with kind of a combo 
delay and reverb, that classic kind of combo. Now I'm going to have that at the end of this board. Uh, Tone City pedals purchased through uh, Anderton's. I got these and really, were just really, really happy with these pedals. So the tape machine is the analog delay. Tiny Spring is a reverb pedal. Again, this is just an essentials, you know, grab and go. I've got a gig tonight. Let's just pick something up. And everything that I need is on this board. So those are my choices. Um, you can see now I'm kind of piecing it together a little bit. And then for the next video, uh, we're going to go through all of this. And I'll talk you through some of my tones and the choices here. And that's it. Those are my choices. So um, as you can see, I've got the wire pedal off to the side. Uh, as mentioned earlier on, I've got the MXR Mini ISO brick, which is my power supply. Oh, I've got a battery in both the Ibanez one and the DS2. Um, and kind of how and when I feel, I'll just decide which one I power up through the ISO brick. And yeah, those are my choices. So let me know what you think in the comments. Um, again, it's, it's an inspired rig as opposed to a direct copy. So I'm looking for those Frusciante-esque tones, but I am also looking to do my own thing with those. And I think that's definitely the way that I like to um, approach my guitar playing and approach kind of piecing together a pedal board, which is what do I need? What do I want to do? And what songs am I going to play? And I feel as though these are the, the right pedals to, to demonstrate that. Okay, so look out for the next video, which will be me talking you through how I use these and just giving you a little bit of a demo. Just let me know what works, what doesn't, what you agree with, what you don't, what you would use instead of. And if you have any questions that I can follow up in the next video, let me know.